वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑप्टिक्स रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट लेक्चर सेकेंड चैप्टर विच इज लाइज इन चैप्टर फोर्टीन ऑप्टिक्स क्लास इलेवेन ऑप्टिक्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट लेक्चर सेकेंड टूडे वी वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लो ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ लाइट लो ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ लाइट इन रिफ्लेक्शन देर इज लॉ ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ लाइट द लॉ ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ लाइट स्टेट्स दैट वेन अ प्लेन मिद रोटेस थ्रू एन एंगल थीटा देन रिफ्लेक्टेड रे रोटेस थ्रू एन एंगल टू थीटा कीपिंग इंसिडेंट रे फिक्सड दिस मीन्स वी हैव एनी प्लेन मिडल एंड देर मे बी रिफ्लेक्टेड रेज एंड इफ we rotate this plane mirror by an angle theta we know that the reflected ray the angle between incident reflected rays should be beta which is equal to twice theta means when plane mirror is rotated through an angle theta the reflected rays is rotated through an angle twice theta keeping incident ray fixed if incident ray is fixed for different incident ray this is not valid so it is always valid for fixed incident ray the law of rotation of light what is law of rotation of light the law of rotation of light states that when a plane mirror rotates to an angle theta then the reflected ray Rotates to angle two theta, keeping incident ray fixed. Means when a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror, there will be incident ray in the reflected ray. And if we rotate plane mirror by an angle theta, then also we find reflected rays, another reflected rays, and the angle between two reflected rays. must should be twice theta keeping incident ray fixed incident ray should be fixed and angle between what will happen we also called that beta equal to twice theta in rotation of light what will happen beta equal to twice theta now here is figure which is showing that Plane mirror X O Y and area of light A O is incident at point O of a plane mirror, and it reflected along O V initially. And when plane mirror X Y is rotated to an angle theta by so that Y O Y dash equal to theta. Then there will be new reflected rays. Incident ray will be fixed, and new reflected ray will be what? Along the light ray will be reflected along O B dash. So the reaction between initial incident reflected ray O B and final reflected ray O B dash should be angle beta in this figure beta. So What will happen here? Beta equal to twice theta. Beta should be equal to twice theta, and we have to prove this. Beta equal to twice theta. Beta means equal to twice theta. What will happen? The tension of light when a plane mirror is rotated through an angle theta. When a plane mirror is Rotated to an angle theta, the reflected ray will be rotated to an angle twice theta, keeping incident ray fixed. Keeping incident ray fixed means if we rotate plane mirror by an angle theta, the reflected ray should be rotated by twice theta, keeping incident ray fixed. Incident ray fixed. So in this figure, B 
then we are going to get theta by an angle theta so beta should be equal to twice theta now for derivation we have in this in that figure let us consider a plane mirror xy as in figure first in figure first we have shown a plane mirror xy when or a way a o or o a is incident at point o on the surface of the mirror with a glancing angle alpha in that figure glancing angle alpha the ray is reflected along ob means glancing angle means what the angle made by incident ray a o with plane mirror surface so it will be glancing angle and the ray is reflected along OB. After making glancing angle, the ray is reflected along OB. The deviation suffered by the reflected ray is angle BOC equal to 2 alpha. The deviation suffered by the reflected ray is angle BOC equal to 2 alpha. Suppose the mirror is rotated, it means what? When a plane, when a plane mirror XY, this plane mirror XY and AO is incident at point O on the surface of the mirror with a glancing angle alpha, the ray is reflected along OB. When the ray is incident, AO is incident, it will be reflected along OB and the, so that the deviation suffered by the reflected ray is equal to BOC equal to twice alpha. Deviation means angle made by emergent ray to the reflected ray is called angle of deviation. Through an angle, when the mirror is rotated through an angle theta on keeping incident ray fixed, the reflected ray rotates along OB through an angle beta means reflected ray is rotating along an OB rotates, reflect, rotates along OB through an angle beta OB dash reflected ray is rotates through an angle OB dash through an angle beta the deviation suffered by the reflected ray with the rotation of mirror is what angle B dash OC angle B dash OC the deviation suffered by the reflected ray with the rotation of the mirror is angle B dash OC equal to twice alpha plus theta means new angle of deviation suffered by the reflected ray with rotation of mirror is 2 alpha plus theta. Now the deviation of the reflected ray along angle B O B dash the deviation of reflected ray along angle B O B dash equal to angle B dash O C minus angle B O C in figure angle B O B dash equal to angle B dash OC minus angle BOC. So equal to value of angle B dash OC equal to 2 into alpha plus theta minus value of angle BOC equal to twice alpha. So here 2 into alpha plus theta minus twice alpha equal to twice theta. Therefore beta equal to twice theta. This shows that the reflected ray should rotate through an angle twice theta. Now, next derivation. Image formed by a plane mirror. We are discussing image formed by a plane mirror. Let us consider a plane mirror xy in the point object is placed at point O. Consider a plane mirror XY 
and the point object is placed at point O. Rays of light coming from the point object is incident on the plane mirror at point A and C at different angle of incident and are reflected along AB and CD respectively. So, when a ray of light in plane mirror XY, a point object is placed at point O, rays of light coming from point object is incident on the plane mirror at point A and C at different angle of incidence and are reflected along AB and CD respectively. A normal incident at E is reflected normally. A ray of light coming from object is normally incident is reflected also normally. In different angles, light is coming from different different objects. A light is coming from a same object of different light rays are incident on different points with different angle of incident and reflected along A, B, and C, D respectively. Light ray coming from object normally is normally incident and reflected back normally. So in this way, we can find image formed by a plane mirror and we have to show that what their object distance equal to image distance. In image formed by a mirror, we can show that object distance equal to image distance. Here in this figure, O is a point object, XY is a plane mirror, a ray of light coming from rays of light coming from point O is a different incident at different angles at point A and C respectively. So O A incident at point A is reflected along A B. Similarly, O C incident at point C reflected along C D. In this way, and light rays falling normally, O E falling normally on the plane mirror is reflected back normally. So, what will happen? The image are appear to come from a point I. So, I is a virtual image. I is a virtual image and we can show here object distance equal to image distance means object distance means distance of object from plane mirror x y and image distance means distance of image x i from plane mirror x y so x o is object distance and x i or e i is a image distance x o or e o is a object distance x i or e i is the image distance in this figure so we have to show that object distance equal to image distance means o e equal to e i or o x equal to x i this will be we have to show here and in in this derivation we can show that o e equal to e i how first of all angle of incidence angle o a b o a n angle o a n equal to angle n a b from laws of reflection angle o a n equal to n a b and so what will happen here angle n a b equal to angle e i a so all these appear to come from the point i as soon as figure so i is the position of virtual image all the object are all the these reflected rays are appear to come from the point i as shown in figure so i is the position of virtual image in this figure reflected rays are not really intersected but appears to come from point i so this is virtual image if the reflected rays are really intersected 
then image formed will be real image. Yes. So I is the position of the virtual image. Some laws of reflection of light angle OAN equal to angle NAB means angle I equal to angle R. Angle OAN equal to angle NAB means angle I equal to angle R. Again we can write angle OAN equal to angle EOI means angle I. Angle OAN equal to angle EOI means angle I. And angle NAB equal to angle AIE R angle R. Angle NAB equal to angle AIE R equal to angle R. From logic of reflection, first angle OAN equal to angle NAB means angle I equal to angle R. Again, we can write angle OAN equal to angle EOI uh, equal to angle of incidence I. So angle NAB and angle AIE are angle of diffraction. So the angle of reflection so angle nab equal to angle aie equal to r in this way we are so oan equal to angle eoa equal to angle nab equal to angle aie why because angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection in this way we can so congruent of two triangles and object distance equal to image distance. We have to prove here or show here object distance equal to image distance. From equation first, second and third we get from equation first, second and third we get angle EOA equal to angle AIE. Angle EOA equal to angle AIE. And angle O EA equal to angle IEA. So those, these two triangles are congruent. These two triangles are congruent. So OE equal to EI. OE equal to EI. From what? Which which triangles are congruent? Triangle, both triangle, above triangle and below triangles are congruent. So we can write here, these two triangles are congruent, so OE equal to EI, OE is object distance, EI is image distance, so object distance equal to image distance, we can prove here, object distance equal to image distance. In plane mirror, object distance equal to image distance. 